Hello everyone, welcome back to Financial Future. Today, I've got some incredibly exciting news that could mean a major financial boost for millions of Americans. We are on the verge of a historic $175 billion inflation relief plan that could result in $2,000 direct payments hitting bank accounts very soon. That's right, $2,800 per person for seniors on Social Security, Americans with disabilities, low-income families, and veterans. After weeks of heated negotiations, Congress is close to approving this massive relief plan aimed at helping some of the most vulnerable people in our society who are bearing the brunt of inflation and soaring costs on groceries, housing, gas, and more. An extra $2,800 could mean keeping the lights on, paying rent, stocking up on medications, and avoiding those unimaginable choices between basic necessities. Now I know what you might be thinking, haven't we heard these kinds of promises before, only for them to never actually happen? I hear you. The skepticism is more than justified given all the letdowns and broken promises over things like stimulus checks and student loan forgiveness. But stick with me, because this $2,800 direct payment plan has serious momentum and looks extremely likely to gain final approval from Congress. First off, who exactly would qualify for this new $2,800 payment if it gets final approval? Based on the current proposal, it includes all Social Security retirement beneficiaries, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, recipients, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, recipients, and veterans receiving VA benefits. In total, we're talking over 64 million Americans covered under this plan, plus millions more VA beneficiaries. This payment is meant as a special relief to help offset the sky-high costs of inflation that have made everyday expenses so much more burdensome, especially for those living on fixed incomes. In terms of timing, the plan is for these payments to begin just a couple of months from now to get money out as quickly as possible. But this time, it really does seem different. This proposal has been attached to a must-pass piece of legislation related to increasing the debt ceiling, which is set to be voted on in the next couple of weeks. By tying the two together, it becomes exponentially harder for lawmakers to strip out these direct payments. Both Democrats and Republicans have voiced support for the plan, giving it a rare burst of bipartisan momentum in today's deeply divided political climate. Of course, nothing is set in stone until Congress holds their final votes. But all signs are pointing to this special $2,800 payment clearing the traditionally tallest hurdles on Capitol Hill. Personally, an extra $2,800 would provide critical financial breathing room for my family, especially with all the soaring costs we've been dealing with lately. Just last week, I had to take my car to the mechanic for some unexpected repairs an $850 bill that I definitely wasn't planning for. Now, let's address some of the main arguments and criticisms we've seen about this plan. First, some say $2,800 isn't enough to offset inflation and the soaring costs Americans have been dealing with. While $2,800 isn't going to single-handedly solve the inflation crisis, it will absolutely help take some of the sting off rising costs for millions of struggling Americans. Ideally, recurring inflation relief payments would be implemented until prices stabilize but getting a one-time payment approved is better than nothing at all. Another critique is that these payments could end up contributing to even higher inflation. Most economic experts disagree with this argument, stating that direct payments to seniors and low-income Americans are more likely to be spent on basic essentials rather than big-ticket splurges. As a result, any minor increase in demand is expected to be offset by the decline in food insecurity and improved quality of life these payments will facilitate. As you know, 
you can start receiving Social Security retirement benefits as early as age 62. Now, if we're talking about SSDI survivors' spousal or SSI benefits, the situation might be different, but we're focusing on retirement benefits here. That's the end of today's video. If you found this information helpful, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on this and other financial news. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.